All right, so let's go ahead and run Lab 9 Wind Chill. To do this lab, you'll need a clean, dry towel. You'll need uh, three Erlenmeyer flasks, 250 milliliter Erlenmeyer flasks with the uh, covers on them. And then go ahead and run hot water, get it as hot as you can, and fill up two of the flasks to 200 milliliters. So I have these flasks are full of hot water, as hot as I can get it. And then this one has room temperature water, so I just filled it up with 200 milliliters of cold water or room temperature water. You'll use the thermal camera, so go ahead and plug that in to your iPad, and you'll use a fan. All right, the purpose of this lab is to compare um, the rate of cooling between warm water that's not in a fan or having a wind blown on it, so no wind, versus warm water with wind. So that's going to be what the fan's used for. And then we're also going to put the cold water in the wind, and we're going to see if that has an effect on cold water, if that increases or decreases the temperature of the cold water, has any effect on it. So to start, we'll, uh, we'll need a thermal image of what the temperatures are that you're starting with. So on my iPad, I've got thermal image of all three of those. All right, I'm using Celsius. So there's my starting temperature, so I'll be able to get the starting temperatures. Now I'm going to set this up with the fan. All right. So I want as much wind as possible on the warm water and the cold water and then leave one of the other warm water samples just off to the side. So warm water, cold water in the wind, and leave warm water off to the side. Turn on the fan as high as it'll go. Make sure that the wind is as high as possible and is striking both of these. So put your hand in front and just feel to make sure that there's wind there. And just make sure to feel that there's no wind on this one. So get another towel if you need to to set it off to the side, but this feels pretty good. No wind on that one. And then run your experiment for 10 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and start a timer for 10 minutes. About a minute into it, I, I decided I felt like the, the one that's not supposed to be in the wind was getting a little bit of air from there, so I, I even tucked it a little further off to the side just to make sure that you have one warm water beaker not in the wind. All right, my timer just went off, so the 10 minutes is up. All right, now I want a nice thermal image of the final results here. All right, so there's my final image. Calibrate there. Okay. So then what I'm going to do is for my write-up, just like we've done before, I'm going to go ahead and get the starting temperature. And for the starting temperature for the, wa the warm water, they should probably be the same. So like looking at here, I get about, oh, 42.2. And this one's also about 42.2. I'm just going to write the down the, they're both 42.2. And then this is going to be definitely different because it's cold water, 24.3. And then also write down your end temperature in the data table for the warm water, no wind. Looks like I got about 38.9. And warm water with wind, definitely a difference, about 30, about 35. 0. And then the cold water, whether or not that one changed at all, you can write down what the change might be for that one. Um, I guess, you know, it really shouldn't have changed uh, if it was at room temperature. But anyway, there's the cold water one.